Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 50 in chapter 9. In this one, things get a little bit different. Right, we still have a bullet just hit the box. By this time, this box is hung with the pivot, the mass, massless rod. So that means it's a rod, it's not the string, it's a rod now. And then this box with a bullet moves up, up, up until the peak. And then ask you what is the smallest value of this bullet to make this pendulum can move to the top of this peak, as this peak. So what we can consider when this uh, box and the bullet moves there at the peak, so smallest velocity for them can be zero because this is not a string, right? This is a what, massless rod. So that means the box and the bullet can just uh, sit there. So we can consider V2 equals to zero. And then, so now things get soft. So initially, we can consider this bullet just had the box. This is the initial momentum conserved. This is a linear momentum conserved. So initial momentum equal to final momentum. And then we consider the energy is conserved, right? So initial energy is kinetic energy from the bullet and the box. The next one is the, uh, the final energy is the what is the kinetic energy for this bullet and the box plus the potential energy. Potential energy, we can see it, how much it moved from there to there to L, right? The displacement to L. So it's the uh, uh, mass for the bullet and the box times G, the gravity times 2L. Now we input the known quantities, the V2 is zero, right? And then we can get the equation for V1 is 2 squared GL. And from this equation, we can get V1 is the MV divided by small m plus capital M. Now we can say this is 2 V1, V1 can equal, is equal, right? So we get this equation. After we get this equation, we can find the velocity as a function of mass and the L. Thank you.